Hey, orange one here. Uh, kind of weird because I normally don't do this, but uh, this is already pre-recorded. It was not on purpose, but um, okay. Basically, this game plan here is to get that base up and running. And yeah, these guys were getting attacked, so I think I was a little bit concerned about that. Oh yeah, I remember this. There was some band of bones guys that were hanging out. Didn't want to shoot into the melee so i brought these guys down yeah yeah i do remember this a little bit yeah i, I actually recorded this uh, just yesterday um and it's the first recording that i did since i updated windows 10. um oh check this out i was really excited because i thought silas might be able to get an attack and and he did did you see that silas is a is a man now man Iver? i'm not sure how that works what you call an adult hiver. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically with this recording, I recorded the whole thing. I thought I was catching my audio, and it was not. Which was pretty irritating, let's just say that. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, the game plan essentially is just kind of take care of things around our different bases, trying to get that one place up and running, get it looking good. Um, here, I think I have, was hoping that we would be able to get some meat from those spiders, just to secure our food sources. And oh yeah, we wanted to try and recruit some people. So I think Sass was looking at some options, and yeah, I wanted to go for this guy with the injured right leg, because we have uh, Cybernex enough at this point, so we might as well hire people that need Cybernex. But, uh, I don't know, maybe Silas's breath smell or something. I'm pretty excited to show you what ended up happening later on in the episode, because unlike last time, I managed to actually fiddle around successfully with, a uh, the, um, not debug map, it's the, it's like the thing where you can build any building that you want. I would call it a debug menu, but I don't know what it's actually called. Um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, uh... I don't know about you guys, but I've been... This has been so good for me to have this Kenshi series. It's been really nice. To, like, I look forward to it most of the time. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The Kenshi series, I enjoy it. I have been enjoying my other series playing it, um, like the Kata and the Banner Lord, but uh, I also am excited to see how the tutorial does that I recorded on um, armors, because somebody suggested I did I do that like a month ago, and I've just been kind of swamped, so I haven't really been able to put much thought towards the YouTube. I've just been kind of plugging in like episodes and and uh, uploading them. Which I enjoy, I, uh, don't get me wrong, but I would like to get some more viewership and I think that tutorial will help. And uh, yeah, we'll see We'll see how it goes. It'd be, I'd be shocked if it didn't do well, you know, because it's actually pretty, uh, pretty closely related to the weapon one that I did. So we'll see. If, uh, if you haven't viewed it already, I probably will have it uploaded before this one. So if you want to pop over to the uh, weapon tutorial video and give it a like, comment, um, and view it, even if you mute it and then just put it, leave it on in the background, that would help me out a whole lot. So I'd love that. So here, oh yeah, I remember Igor. We needed you to go get some iron plates because we needed some for crafting. Um, I'm not even sure what it was right now. Oh yeah, it was the the farm because we needed some food to be produced there. And if we're going to get food, apparently we need um, some iron plates to do so. I think by the end of this episode, we just about have it so this place is producing its own food. I know. <laughs> it took a while, but we're there. I'm happy. Um, well, I don't know if I would say I'm happy. I'm uh, content. <laughs> with with what's going on 
I really had thought this would take a lot less time than, gosh, was it been like four or five episodes I've been trying to get that place set up? Flash taking care of the millions of other little things that we've got to do. Yeah, I I don't know. There's something just super hardcore, like, I almost said metal, but then I was like, God, that's such a bad pun. I'm going to go for it. It's so metal of us for it to be um, killing iron spiders for their iron plates, right? And then we're building our little house on the outpost of this place from their dead bodies, essentially. Which is awesome. Igor just ripping through, like always. I swear, like, Igor and Doom Guy, I think would be friends. Pretty sweet. But yeah, I've been, I've been needing this. I've been needing the Kenshi. It's been really good for me to have that, because, um... Personal life, I've been having some... Some hardships. Uh, I I have told you guys about work, but then my cat's got like an injured back. Oh man, I don't know if I've mentioned that, but she uh, like kind of jumped out of my arms, um, and I was kind of leaning forward, and then she like I think kind of landed, kind of weird, and her back's been bothering her, so she's all messed up, and I'm I'm feeling so guilty about that, man. You know, like that just sucks. When you hurt something that you love and you're like, what did I just do? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I've just been beating myself up about that. But, you know, it's it w it really was an accident. I just see him be more careful. Like, she's getting old. Get she's nine. She can't uh, just be kind of like, not dropped. I wouldn't say I dropped her. But I didn't put her down gently. But I need to be doing more of that. I'm sorry, Messy. Oh, man. And yeah, then there's some other stuff going on with, like, family. Uh, there's someone in the family who's not doing well, health-wise. So I've been... I've had a number of things kind of dropped on me in the last, like, couple weeks, and... I'm so grateful for y'all. Like, honestly. It's amazing. I love hearing what you guys have to say about, uh... What we're doing, and having... Uh... Having you kind of bounce ideas off of me, it's really enjoyable. So anyways, um, while Igor is lockpicking, I don't know if y'all have seen the new Altered uh, Carbon. I really enjoyed the first season. I thought it was really good. I thought it was honestly one of the better things that Netflix has done. And I'm also just looking at Pet and their head just pushing through the wall there and it's just freaking me out. Anyways, I watched like the first episode of the second season. It's pretty good. Pretty darn good. I've been really enjoying it. Sorry, just give me a second. Yeah, I don't know. I um I really like steampunk. Like, this is something I've discovered about myself. Oh look that shirt. It actually is worse than the current shirt the pet had on. Sorry, it's hard to keep track with like what I would have been saying while I'm recording. Like juggling. It's almost harder. Um, it should be easier, but it's actually harder. But yeah, that I had a dark leather shirt compared to the leather turtleneck. Very fashionable, I'm sure. Very nice turtleneck. But uh we are gonna go with the thing that protects you a little bit more. Oh yeah, and then there's that iron spire there, but we didn't have any capacity to carry them because Pet actually has been carrying around um, iron plates as well. And so we actually already had the iron plates that we sent Igor out to go get. I was just being silly. Oh yeah, and then I ran Silas over here to give this cybernetic leg to Beef because Beef has been waiting for a while for that. But yeah, I, I really like uh, like steampunk games so if you or steampunk in general so if there's any steampunk games that you think i would enjoy please drop a comment with it and i'll i'll check it out i don't know if i can promise that i'll play it but i'll at least check it out you know that much i can say like i'll i'll look into it i feel like the channel's gonna be a little bit busy once bannerlord comes out look at those names they're like just jiggling around there beef in 1886 that was kind of weird Oh yeah, and the production of copper has has stopped here. We're just too good at our jobs, apparently. But yeah, I um I played like Deus Ex 
uh, I think it's still the newest one. It's a few years old now. And I really enjoyed that game. That was fun. I really like uh, stealth games as well. If you didn't know that, I... Whenever I play like Fallout games, uh, I try and go stealthy, and they're not stealth games at all. But I do. I used to play like, um, was it Tom Clancy, like Splinter Cell? I used to play those games, and then there was one that came out, and there's some sort of mechanic that just like stressed me out way too much, and I just stopped playing it. It, it was something to do with like terrorism and panic or something like that. Oh yeah, we got that produced producing up there because we have the iron plates, and we're gonna make electrical components here. Which, to be honest, we probably don't need to do. We probably just need to go hunt some iron spiders for electrical components. But this is a good uh, solution in the short term. Press. And what were you guys shooting at? I can't even remember, to be honest. Oh, there's a spider right there. Yeah, getting a little close. A little too close for comfort, so yeah, we're gonna shut that gate. And we'll just let people take pot shots at it until they kill it. I don't think they'll hit green and anvil where they're sitting. There we go. Nicely done, team. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy how much you can cheese uh, this game with the defense, and uh, it really makes it so much easier if you just like create a little ball neck and like. None of the NPC cities have that, which really bothers me when players can do things like that that the NPCs can't, and then you just have an extremely unfair advantage in that regard. But then, like fairness in video games is like completely um, subjective, seeing how you're playing a lot of times if it's single player against like robots. Oh yeah, here, I was I was trying to figure out how to decorate the space here, and so I did a little quick save just to make sure I didn't mess anything up. And then I was just pressing like F12 and all these other things, and I couldn't find it. I think I pressed basically all of the Fs besides F9, because I have trauma from that. <laughs> um, and I ended up going to the controls. And I was actually super surprised in here how many unbinded... Um, Unbound things there are like faction window doesn't have anything. Um, toggling these things doesn't have any anything, but you don't really need that because you can click it in the lower left hand corner, you know. Yeah, I was looking at build mode, but that's not what we're looking for. That's just the regular in game building game editor. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, debug menu, game editor, it's the same thing, you know. And so I hit that button. It was weird, it sounded like it took a screenshot, and then I was playing around with this. I remember this. This was kind of fun. So... Yeah, you can put items down, you can select, like, booze, and then you can, like, put it on these shelves, and it does seem to tr understand where you're pointing pretty well. And it's kind of weird, because it gives you a different item than, uh... Than what's actually being dropped, you know? So I was very confused here. And then if I go to cannibal bait, it gives me a book. So weird. Why are cannibals looking for books? I, I, I'm i very confused with that. So I was trying to put food down. And yeah, I guess booze it falls under the category of food because we got the same thing when we're placing food and booze down. <laughs> yeah, interesting. So I guess uh, Blake likes to have a little food while everyone else is coming over for a drink, huh? If you know how to place specific items in here, I would love to know that because I couldn't figure it out while I was looking at this. Um, I was just trying to decorate with some luxury items, which is very strange. Um, how it kind of works. And then... Yeah, if we hit items, it doesn't give us any other menus. Luxury items, yeah, and if you try and type there, it doesn't really give you anything other than those big categories. 
I, I honestly have no idea how to place the um, different items. Oh, and look, there's all these different mods here. I don't know if we're doing anything, if it's tied to a particular mod or what, but at least we got some decorations on the table, right? That's kind of cool. And then here's, oh man, I remember this. I was trying to figure out what this was saying with all this stuff. There's move global and reset. And when I hit reset, everything in the in the house just started floating. Weird, right? Very strange. I should have played around with this more before I tried to do it on camera. And I got super scared to hit clear. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. But it, it is what it is. Um, I think I ended up just quick loading from this because it I couldn't figure out how to fix it otherwise. Yeah, yeah. So I did end up quick loading right there. Yeah. And we just quick saved, so. What ups, right? Like it never even happened. Like actually. <laughs> like people say that all the time. But in this situation it actually is like it never even happened. Like time wise and everything. I did want to place, do a little decorating, so I think I did do, yeah, I tried to actually just place some items down and give uh, Blake a little bit of stuff, because, you know, as our only Patreon supporter, I think he, he's earned that, right? And then, actually, you know, it's funny. Look at the meat that was on the table, whatever that was that was uh, on that side right there. I want you to keep your eyes on it, because I'm pretty sure it disappears at some point. I'm just not sure when or why, but when I looked at it later, it was gone. And I'm pretty sure... It might be that someone just ran up, because it's not Anvil. Anvil's not grabbing it right there. Someone's sneaking up. Oh yeah, I also wanted to do some books. But honestly, what's an office without some books? Some files, you know? I wonder if you can place individual items, if that's even a thing in-game, or if you can't do that, if it has to be part of a category. I kind of feel like you might not be able to do it, but I don't really know, you know? Okay, the meat is still there on the table. It is bothering me how that rug just kind of rotated like that. I don't know why it did, but it did. Um, and I'm scared to press anything else. So I think I just left it there. Oh look, there's the meat. It's gone. Did Ezio do that? I'm pretty sure Ezio did that. It, honestly, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was Ezio. You caught your red-handed. Kind of. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you're innocent. I don't know. So, yeah, what do you think of your office, Blake? You like it? Got any special requests on some items and uh, decorations? Because, I mean, it is your office, so just let me know, and we can tweak it. Also, let me know if you ever want Blake to go on an adventure, and if you give me a mission, like a, a goal, I'd be happy to do that, too. You know, like, <laughs> I was talking with my wife about the fact that I only have one Patreon right now, and I... And she said it should be an ongoing joke, you know? Um, so I don't know. I, Yeah, what do you guys think? How? What jokes should I make about this? I like... Um, I could call Blake my glorious benefactor. You know, or something like that. I don't know. Oh, also... If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to be trying to get some merch. Oh, Igor's stuck. I was trying to send Igor somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm going to get, like, I'm going to try and do a new logo, which you've probably seen by now. Um, there's some merchandise that I have uh, linked on the website. It's not in a merch shelf, because you need 10k people uh, subscribed to you to be able to put it on a shelf like that. But I think if you go to my homepage, and like uh, the about part, 
like when it has links to like Discord and uh, and stuff. I'm gonna put it there, and I'm gonna probably try and start putting it also in all of my video descriptions, uh, just so it's it's there, you know. Um, I might forget though to do that. It, I I really should just have a template of things I always post. Like I've been thinking of setting up like an Amazon retail thing. I don't know if I, I would get anything from that. Probably not. I think merchandise is much more likely to maybe make some money. And I was like, okay, well, how do I engage people with the merchandise? You know? And I was thinking of having people uh, take their um, merchandise and take a picture of it. And then posting that picture on social media with like hashtag orange one you know, or something like that. I don't know. We'll try and get it trending. I don't even know how Twitter works, if I'm completely honest with you. <laughs> it's bad. I really should know more about the one of the biggest social medias of our time, but I don't. Like, after Facebook, I kind of stopped doing that whole thing, because it was pretty unhealthy for me. Like, it, it was honestly unhealthy for me. Like, I spending way too much time thinking about it and checking it and I mean if you have one you know what I mean where you're like I know this is bad I should stop yeah I go keep on ransacking this place you know might as well see what else is in here I mean you got a lot of stuff that I want back at base but while we're here why not right but yeah I kind of swore off social media a while ago um and then I replaced it with YouTube. <laughs> All those things I just complained about social media. I guess you could say a little bit about YouTube, but um, I enjoy this. This is actually fun, you know, for me. Whereas Facebook was just like, I don't know. It was stressful for some reason for me. And like Twitter sounds pretty cool. And it's pretty interesting. I watched this one YouTube video talking about this thing called uh, Black Twitter. It's not a separate thing, but it's like a little uh, community within Twitter, obviously of black people. And they were saying how uh, it's really interesting. I, I don't know. I forgot. It's been a while. It's been like months since I watched this, but they were saying how like... Um, there's all these people having conversations around race and things getting upvoted and downvoted and thinking about why they're getting upvoted and downvoted or whatever it is that you do, retweets or whatever. Kind of seeing what of their tweets went uh, big and what didn't. And how uh, there's like influencers retweeting things that other people are saying. And it's this whole like microcosm. And, you know, I never really thought of Twitter like that. But it's kind of like it's got its own subreddits of people um, with these uh, these hashtags. And it's pretty interesting to think about how they talked about how that helps them kind of reflect on things themselves. And I thought it was just super cool, you know. Oh yeah, Hanbu, I remember you. We were cured you in a bar last episode. And um, because you are a soldier drone with zero soldier skills... You're going to be a worker for us. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't what you were born to do. But uh, if I try and have you do what you were born to do, you're going to die. There's like no real chance. I'm not going to baby you like I did with Silas and protect you in every single situation until you have decent um, stats. So, uh... Good luck with uh, the robotics for the real soldiers, Hanbu. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. Why am I apologizing to one of my characters that are not even named after a person or anything? Okay, I'm losing it. I've officially lost it. I'm apologizing to video game characters. Oh yeah, yeah, so Hanbu, although you're not a real soldier, you do deserve at least some armor. Not gonna put um, best armor on you because we don't have it. I'm not gonna prioritize making more. 
that maybe I should. I mean, that right there, um, if you look at the video that I shared with the um, uh, Google Sheets that, um, that Scara uh, graciously said they, that I could use, I, there isn't that high of a chance to get hit in the stomach anyways, you know? Oh, next random thing to talk about was uh, Google Sheets. I've, I feel like, as a teacher, I love Google because they've done so much to try and design it for school. But I'm also worried because it's, like, taking over and all these kids are just, you know, relying on Google products, which they have very distinct weaknesses. They have very distinct strengths as well, like not having to save a document. It always gets saved. But then sometimes it doesn't get saved like 99.9% .9 of the time it's good then I had a student this week working on like a week plus long project where they told me my slides are getting deleted I don't know what's going on someone's deleting my slides and we looked at like the version history which is also another cool thing with the Google things is you can see all the changes that people have made or at least that was the cases uh, the other school district I was at but um, now that I'm in Portland, it like updates every two minutes. It's not even a... Uh, every single little change. That was the case what, what I'm used to, but nobody had deleted things. They were just gone. Like there was no deletion or editing where, that made th these things go. It was just empty. It was the weirdest thing ever. So like Google Suites will do things like that where I'm like, dude, come on. I need that. And you told me that it was saved. <laughs> and also the fact that Google is like one of the most powerful companies out there. And we're all relying on on that stuff and an internet connection at the same time. Yeah. There's a lot of things why Google Suite products are not quite as good as actual programs. Well, mostly because they are much more streamlined to work on a browser. But uh, all in all, after using them for the last few years, yeah, that is quite indecision. I'm sorry, Skeleton. Like, after using this for years, I would never want to go back to using not Google Suites. Oh, it is the best for everything. And it's interesting seeing how people will use that for things like what this, that Scarar did. You know, it's not just in education, it's amazing for sharing documents and using it. And I was actually talking to, I think it was my brother-in-law, and he was saying that his job, people don't want you using Google Suites. Like, they essentially are just biased against it, which I don't get. I, I kind of I kind of get it, but it seems silly to me. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's, it has its pros, might as well use it when you can get those pros. Oh yeah, I think Igor was going here to go buy electrical components because he couldn't find any skeletons with them. So yeah. I know that we will be able to produce them soon ourselves, but might as well grab those and make it easy on us right now, you know? And it's right here. We can easily trade for it. In any case, we're getting the last tech 10 seconds of the episode. Um, so thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.